You might have the impression that your newborn baby is crying nonstop. This is very common and it can be very frustrating and exhausting for the mom or dad caring for the baby. One thing I really recommend is to try to figure out whether your baby is hungry, gassy, or tired. When babies cry, we automatically assume that they're hungry and we just start giving more food, but sometimes it's not that. Sometimes the baby's tired and sometimes the baby just has gas. I remember with my first baby having a particularly long crying spell. I placed the baby on my chest in a sort of sprawled out position like this with his arms over my shoulders and <laughs> the biggest burp came out. He was calm and I put him down to sleep. So try to figure out whether your baby is hungry, gassy, or tired. Cluster feeding at this stage can also be behind a lot of crying and fussiness. Or you just might find that your baby, you know, cries a lot and needs comforting, including rocking, soothing, or just holding your baby. You might find a swing or a vibrating bouncer to be really helpful. This crying can really take its toll. So one thing that experts advise to be totally acceptable as surprising as this sounds, is a mommy or daddy timeout. I recommend putting your baby in a safe place, drinking a large glass of water, having a hot cup of herbal tea, stretching for five or so minutes, and taking a really hot shower. When you're back in 10 minutes, you might feel much better and you might find that your baby is fast asleep. This is also recommended by some experts to leave your baby to cry once in a while. And I remember my mom always saying that crying is baby's way of exercising. We think something is like drastically wrong, but she said that's how they get their energy out. That's how they exercise. Some experts recommend leaving your baby to cry alone for small increments of time, not for like hours on end, because they think that this can encourage babies to self-soothe.